nak? Awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Alright, question number 8. So, now let's try the calculation. Okay? So, find the magnitude and direction of the net electric field strength ataupun kita nak kira the total electric field strength at point A. So, here we have two point charges. Okay, we have positive and negative point charges. Alright. So, the first step, you need to draw. Okay, first, draw direction at a point. Okay, draw direction of electric field at a point. And second, okay, uh, then you start the calculation lah. Calculation, make sure don't substitute the negative sign of the charge. Okay. So now at point A, the direction, okay, so ini positive, okay, you tengok kat sini ya. So, ini adalah positif. So, point A. So, positif dia punya electric field dia besar. Keluar. Uh, keluar. So, dia akan keluar ke sini. Kan dia daripada sini kan? Uh, macam tu. So, kat point A. Echo arrow tu mesti dia start daripada point A. And then. Itu dia masuk ke sini. So, itu dari sini lah ke kanan. Sorry, ke kiri. So, this is one dimension. Ini one dimension. Okay, sebab satu direction E, E1 is to the right and E2 is to the left. So, we just write the total electric field at point A. E1 is positive to the right plus negative E2. Okay, so we can straightly substitute into the uh, equations. Okay. And remember, okay, R1 and R2 is not the same value. R1, kita ukur daripada Q1 to point A, which is 4 plus 2, 6 centimeter. 4 plus 2, 6 centimeter. Okay. R2, we measured from Q2 and A. So, 2 meter. 2 meter. So, this one is 2 meter. Okay. So, now we substitute where K is the Coulomb's constant. Okay. So, 9 exponent 9. Q1 is positive charge. So, tak ada masalah lah positive charge. So, 6 squared. Minus this time, you can see here that Q2 is negative charge. Tapi dalam calculation, okay, jangan masukkan negative. Ambil saja 2 exponent negative 6. Okay? In your calculation, don't substitute the negative sign of the charge. Remember, sebab apa? Sebab kita dah consider dah dia punya direction. Okay? So, kita kira you akan dapat negative 2.5. Exponent 3, Newton per Coulomb. Where the negative sign showing that the direction is to the left. So, seeloknya you tulis. Magnitude of the electric field at point A is equal to positive 2.5. So, the magnitude is positive, right? Eh? Okay. So, this is the answer. Where the direction is to the left. Okay, so finish that one. Alright, so now at point A tadi, kita tahu dah. The total electric field at point A is negative 2.5 exponent 3 Newton per Coulomb. So if we have a positive test charge, okay, a charge place at A, dia kata. Kali ni dia tak kata positif ke negatif kan? Okay? So, dia kata kita letak satu charge. Q. At point A. Dan bila kita letak charge itu dekat point A, dia kata apa? The charge experience a force 
and the direction is to the right. Okay. Uh, sedangkan tadi kita dapat electric field kita negatif. Ah, uh, total electric field EA kita is to the left. Okay, tapi the mention dekat situ, the force is at point A due to the test charge. Okay, is to the right. Okay, which is four positive and uh, sorry exponent negative three newton. So we can use equation where electric field is the Force per unit test charge. And this time, the force uh, is given. We want to find Q0. So, F over Q, where F is the positive for exponent negative 3 and the charge. Sorry, this one is E. Sorry. And the electric field is negative. Okay. Ingat tak kita belajar sebelum ni tadi? Kalau kita punya posit, kalau kita punya test charge ini positif, kita mesti akan dapat uh, apa? Kita mesti akan dapat okay, direction F dengan E kita ni sepatutnya sama. Okay, tak kisahlah total charge kita, sorry, tak kisahlah total electric field kita positif ke negatif. Kalau Q0 ni positif, F dengan E ni mesti same direction. Okay, kita dah bincang di awal video tadi. But this time, Kita dapat, dia beritahu F is positive to the right and the total electric field at point A is to the left. That's why the test charge here is negative. Alright? 1.6 times 10 power of negative 6. So this is the magnitude. Okay? Uh, and the polarity, okay, and the polarity of the charge The polarity of the test charge Q0 is negative. Okay. Jadi kalau polarity of the test charge is positive, sebenarnya kita akan dapat E dan F to same direction. Okay. Tapi dia sebabkan E dan F is opposite direction. So the polarity pun dia akan uh, apa? Akan dapat negatif lah. Boleh eh? Okay next. Question number 9. Okay, so here we have uh, two point charges. Okay, where positive, so this one is Q1. Q1 is positive 6 nanocoulomb and located at coordinate of x equal to 0. Sinilah coordinate dia. And we have the unknown charge Q. Somewhere here. So, macam mana saya tahu dia ke kanan? Uh, sebab dia kedudukan dia, dia dah bagi tahu dah. Where it is, uh, jarak dia mesti sini x equal to 0 0.5 meter. So, means that the distance between them is 0 0.5 meter. Sebab dia dah bagi koordinat kan? Determine the charge Q. If the total electric field is zero, okay, at the point x equal to 1.0 meter. So, kalau ikut koordinat, sambung sini, somewhere here. Okay, where the coordinate at this point is 1 meter. So, another, uh, ini jarak dia, another distance here is 0 0.5 lah. Okay. Alright, so now, we draw the direction of the electric field E1 due to Q1. Ke kiri ke ke kanan? Ha, sebab, you nampak dekat sini, kita punya Q1 kita positif kan? So, positif, arrow E1 dia mesti keluar. So, tarik, tarik dari sini, keluar sampai A. So, dia akan E1 dia ke sini. Tapi untuk Q, eh, the test charge Q, saya tak tahu dia positif ataupun negatif. Tetapi dia dah bagi hint dah situ. The electric field is zero at point A. Okay, the total electric field at point A is equal to zero. Means that kalau direction of E1 to the right, another direction of the electric field 
due to the second charge must be to the left. Okay. Untuk dapatkan total electric field kita zero. Okay. E1 and E2 must be opposite direction. Sama juga untuk soalan electrostatic force. Kalau electrostatic force on that charge is zero, mesti satu ke kanan. Contoh eh, satu mesti ke kiri. Contohnya macam tu. Jadi kita tahu E1 dah ke kanan, E2 automatically ke kiri. Macam mana kita nak dapat E2 to the left? Q ini kita mesti tahu kalau E2 to the left, Q ini automatically akan jadi negative charge. Okay? So kita pun tulis. The total electric field at point A is equal to zero. Ada dua electric field at point A, E1 is to the right plus E2 is to the left. So we put negative. Okay. So we try to rearrange E1 equal to E2. So KQ1 over R1 squared equal to KQ2. Eh, Q kecil lah. Boleh eh? uh, Over R2 squared. Okay. So yang kita boleh cancel out, kita cancel out. R1, R1 is the distance from point A to charge 1. Which is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is 1 meter. R2 from the second charge to point A is 0 0.5. Okay. So saya tulis kat tepi ni, dia akan jadi Q1, 6. So kita uh, rearrange lah balik. Q, 1 over R1 squared times R2 squared. Where Q1 is 6 nano, R1 is 1 meter, R2 is 0 0.5 meter. And finally, okay, kita akan dapat 1.5 exponent negative 9 coulomb. So this is the magnitude of the Q. Tetapi kita perlu letak negatif sebab apa? Sebab saya dah tahu dah tadi ini. Ha, dia mesti negative charge untuk kita dapat eh untuk kita dapat direction of the electric field mesti to the left. Kalau E1 dah ke kanan, yang satu lagi mesti ke kiri. Untuk kita menepati kehendak soalan, apabila electric field at that point is zero, dua arah bertentangan mesti ada. Okay, we must have two opposite direction of the electric field. Boleh eh? So, finish that one. Okay. Next, question number 10. So, here we have uh, two point charges, A and B. Okay. They are one nanocoulomb for each uh, charge. Okay. For each charges. So, we want to find the electric field strength at point D. Here. Okay. So, at point D here. So, this is positive charge and this is positive charge. So, first step. You must draw the direction of the electric field due to Q1 and due to Q2. So, look at Q1 positive, so ke bawah. Q2 positive, so ke kiri. Kali ini, soalan ini adalah two dimension. Kenapa two dimension? Sebab E1 direction dia in Y component. Downward. Where E2 is to the left. So X component. Jadi you tak boleh kira total ED you perlu tambah terus. Macam tu. Tak boleh. Sebab kita ada uh, two dimension problem here. Okay. So we want to calculate. So as we know that. In X component, we have E2 and the direction is to the left. So, negative KQ2 over R2 squared. The distance from Q2 to point D is 1 meter. Soalan dah bagi dah. Awak pun kira. Okay. So, yang tu you dapat lah nanti. Uh, negative 9. 
Untuk Y komponen pun sama. Okay, negative because the direction is downward. Sama. Kita akan dapat negative uh, 9 Newton per coulomb. Therefore, the resultant electric field at point D is square root X component which is E2. Eh, uh, X component squared plus E1 in Y component. Okay, you substitute, you akan dapat 12.73 Newton per coulomb. So, this is the answer. And then, don't forget to calculate the direction because electric field is the uh, vector quantity. So, angle theta inverse tangent y over x. Okay. If substitute, you're going to put 45 degree below or above positive or negative x axis. Below negative x axis. Uh, ini masih ada yang tak tahu lagi ke? Ini daripada sem 1 eh. Resolving vector. So, uh, kenapa dia dapat negatif? Sebab, ini kan negatif, negatif E2. Negatif. E1. Y component, X component negatif. So, koordinat dia sini lah. Somewhere here. E at point D, so 45 degree. So, the below X exists. So, this is positive x axis. This is negative x axis. So, dia adalah below. Negative x axis. Okay. So, we want to calculate the electric force exerted on Q. So, E equal to F over Q. Therefore, FD equal to ED over Q. ED tadi kita dah dapat 12.73. And the charge is given to. Kan? Eh, ya. Terbalik. F equal to E times Q. So, E is 12.73. 2 times 10 power of negative 9. So, the answer is 2.55 times 10 power of negative 8 Newton. And Direction dia sama lah. Kenapa direction dia sama dengan E tadi? Sebab ini adalah positive charge. So, direction dia sama. Below 45 degree. Below negative x axis. Sebab charge kita adalah positive charge. So, direction F mesti sama dengan direction D. Which is 45 degree below negative x axis. Boleh eh? Alright, next. Okay, finish. So, we have finished all question for subtopic 1.2. So, remember to watch. Okay, to watch all videos in subtopic 1.2 under folder chapter 1, eh, electrostatic. You buka kat situ, ada lagi extra question under subtopic 1.2. Cuba buat. Okay, cuba buat as your homework. Okay, uh, untuk tingkatkan lagi kefahaman awak. Alright, so kita jumpa lagi dalam next video. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.